Hello students, so today we're going to be reviewing class rules for room 200. So that's my classroom, Miss Cremonese. The number one rule I have is to raise your hand to speak or for permission to leave your seat. This is especially very important this school year. So not only do you have to raise your hand to ask a question or answer a question, you need to raise your hand to ask permission. That means, are you allowed to leave your seat? Either to get a tissue, to sharpen your pencil, or to wash your hands or get hand sanitizer. Rule number two is to keep hands, feet, and objects to yourself. So this is also very important because we wanna help stop the spread of germs. You will each be sitting at your own table. So you'll have room to keep your hands, feet, and objects to yourself. This is also important if you're walking around the classroom. You wanna use walking feet, okay, hands by your side, and any objects you have are close to your body. Number three, listen when someone is talking. So that doesn't only mean when I'm talking, right? When the teacher's talking, you are listening. But if one of your classmates is sharing out, we'll be listening to that classmate, okay? We always wanna have open ears and closed mouths when we're listening. We wanna do whole body listening. Rule number four, follow directions the first time they are given. This is very important to keep everybody safe. So directions aren't always just for lessons. For example, you should always know to write your name and date on any paper you get, and that direction I should only give once, but we should be following directions to keep everybody safe in the classroom. Number five, treat everyone with kindness and respect. I love this rule. So we are all here to learn, and sometimes when we are learning, we are going to make mistakes. We can learn from those mistakes. So we should never be laughing at somebody because that's just not the right thing to do. And who knows, maybe the next time you'll be the one making the mistake and you wouldn't want somebody laughing at you. So to treat everyone with kindness and respect, think about how you would want to be treated. Okay, my rules for the hallway, I use this saying hall. The H, hands at your side. A, all eyes forward. L, lips zipped. And the last L, low speed. Just like a turtle, a turtle goes slow. We should never be running in the hallway. Now this year, I have some new hallway rules. This is to be how to be a hallway ninja. So ninjas come from the culture of Japan and what they did is ninjas wear masks, right? So when we're moving in the hallway, we always need to keep our mask on. Rule number two, ninjas move in silence. They're quiet. No one should ever know that you're in the hallway. Number three, ninjas keep their distance. Okay, we're not going to be walking really close to each other. We're going to leave some space so some space from the person in front of you and behind you. And last, ninjas make smart decisions. Ninjas walk in the hallway. Ninjas keep their hands and feet to themselves and ninjas always wear their masks and move silently. Okay, this year I've added some new rules to help us stay safe. So yes, it is my job to teach you new things but really my number one job is to keep you all safe. So we're gonna be, you're going to be using your own supplies. So whether that's a pencil, crayons, colored pencils, glue, scissors, or a notebook, we're not going to be sharing this year. Now, if you need help getting some of these supplies, I can help you with this and it will become your own. You're going to eat only your own food. So whether it's snack time or lunch time, we do not share our food. We don't share food 
because this could spread germs. And not only that, some students have allergies. Allergies are when your body reacts to something and it could be dangerous. So you only are going to eat the food that you bring in from home or that you get here in school from the school cafeteria. Okay, again, we're gonna raise your hand to move around the room. You need permission. Come to school when you are feeling healthy. So you should be checking in with your parents to see how you're feeling. At home, your parents could take your temperature. This is a digital thermometer. It reads your temperature. So it's important to come to school when you're feeling healthy so you're at your best to learn and also so we can help stop, prevent the spreading of germs. Again, very important, keep your mask on over your mouth and nose. We will have mask breaks throughout the day, but it's very important while we're not taking these short mask breaks that you have your mask over your mouth and nose. Again, this will help stop um, the spreading of germs. We're gonna greet others from a distance. So we're not gonna get too close to someone to say hello. Some distance greetings can be an air high five, an air hug, um, you can bump elbows, you could bump shoes. So there's some different ways that you can still say hello. Like for example, you can wave from a distance without getting too close. Again, we're gonna keep your hands to yourself. We never put our hands on somebody else and we are also doing this to prevent the spreading of germs or to help stop germs from spreading. We're going to practice social distancing and what this means is that we stay six feet away from others. This distance of six feet is where this is going to also help the germs from spreading. So if someone coughs or sneezes, if you're at least six feet away, then you should be okay. You're going to wash your hands with soap for 20 seconds. This is important to help get rid of the germs or any bacteria you have. So you wanna scrub your hands and maybe even your wrists for 20 seconds. You can hum the happy birthday song or sing the happy birthday song two times to yourself. That would be about 20 seconds. Then you rinse your hands and wrists clean with water, and then you're gonna dry your hands and wrists with a clean towel. If there's not soap and a sink nearby, you can use hand sanitizer. Now the same thing, hand sanitizer should be rubbed in for at least 20 seconds. You wanna make sure your hands are completely rubbed dry. You're going to stay in your own personal space away from other students and from the teacher. And then finally, you're going to cough and sneeze into your elbow, otherwise known as an elephant cough and sneeze. So elephants have a trunk, okay? So what we're gonna do is you take one of your arms, you stick it out just like an elephant's trunk, you bend it just like this boy is, and you cough and sneeze into your elbow. This will make sure that the germs go into the crook of your elbow and they don't get spread into the air. Also, we don't touch too many things with the inside of our elbows. That's why we never want to use our hands to cough or sneeze into because we touch many things with our hands. Okay, so these are just some of the class rules I have. So again, class rules to keep us safe for learning and to also help keep us healthy. If you have any questions about these rules, please leave me a comment or question in Google Classroom, or when we have a Google Meet, you can ask me. Thank you.